Alright guys, and welcome to episode 22 of the OEB Let's Play series on Oldridge Farm. Beautiful sunset, still day 18. As you can see, the silage finally cured. Oh my god. And I've found out who's responsible for this. Enzo. Yeah. He's fiddled with the fermenting times. I thought it was a mod, I was wrong. It was the boss. Why? So he filled with the growth times and the fermenting times. Yeah, until I figure this out, that's all I can tell. We may find it out today actually, because today we're doing a little bit different. Carl mentioned when I was on his failed episode on Westbridge Hills about the bell spike. And he made an interesting point. We wonder if it's possible to make a single spike. Pretty sure. Yeah. Single spike. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to take it into the workshop and see if we can't uh, get the angle grinder out. Take one of them off and well. Well, they're just they're properly bolted. Look, so all we need to do is unbolt it and put it there then. Oh, tree. If only it was that simple. In real life, it'd be easier to turn this into a single than what it would be in game. Then, <laughs> but we're going to run it back to the main farm. We don't need to grind it. But we need to blender it. That was not the right button. There we go. So we'll make our way back up there. The good news, or bad news, is the orchard has been sold on now. We've handed that contract back. Someone else has taken that on. And we have bagged the BDA. I've uh, spent a fair bit of time sorting it out. I uh, had to fast forward to get the silage up and running as well, just in time. The mod, I believe, well, I believe it's just in time. We'll find out in seven minutes. Dun, dun, dun. I'm pretty sure it activates at eight o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock in the afternoon. So it's nearly ready to go. I don't think the full just yet. So probably should do a little bit of work in there. But priorities. We're playing with a bell spike. So then, what toys do we have in here? Everything we need is over this side. This needs to go. I have no interest in a fence. Yes, I think we'll be getting rid of this out of the way. I'm never going to finish it. Oof. So right, then we'll drop that there. And right, let's go blender this thing. Save the game, yes. <coughs> Sorry, throat's going. Quit the game, quit the game. Don't need that out. Uh, do need to put that on desktop. There we are. Ah. This is an issue I keep having with the X-Split. Not sure what it's about, but X-Split does continue to run. Meh. So, first of all, we need to go and find the thing. Because we're going to have to make a mod of it. Front loaders, stall. <coughs> Come on. Be this easy. Be this easy. Yes, it is this easy. Nice. Right then. Make life nice and easy. Export selection to no. Selection with file export. All with files. Oh, see, even easier. 
desktop then. So OEB Belfork. There we go. What's it called? Stall tool Belfork. That's not the Control C copy. <laughs> there we go. Right then. I'll keep that up because it's going to have missed something. Right, right, there we go. Always misses something. We don't have a dirt shader. Open it with Notepad. We're missing the cube map rough. Uh, vehicles up to. Yes. So copy that. Pop that in there. Edit the file path. Like that. And the default no uses the default normal. Cool. And shaded dirt. Well the shaded dirt is there. So we'll copy one of them. Then we'll go into shared and we're gonna need both of these, default normal and dirt normal. So control C, control V, good good. Uh, you need to edit the shade of dirt, take the shared off that, control S to save it. This then needs that pulling out and that pulling out. That went quite well, didn't it? Don't need that just yet. So now, should load without error. Should. There we go. Scripting window down the bottom. No errors. Jobs are good. <coughs> the visibility. Control L, pop a light on. Someone mentioned this part here uh, into the custom shader. Come on, and it's this one, I believe. Takes the dirt off. <laughs> of course, that. So, what do the others do? RDT. Uh, specular. No, RGB? Nope. No, not sure what they do then. Come on. What's this one do? Again, nothing noticeable. Oh well, leave it as is. Stop tinkering. Decals. Yeah. We can leave those. What we need is this export selection as call it if you like object. Yes, no, actually, save it as an I3D first, just makes life that little bit easier later on. Then do it again, save it as an object. So I can well, just minimize that for now. This should bring up what we want. Ah, it's brought its friend with it. Alright, well I can get rid of him easy enough. Close that down. Fire up Blender. I haven't actually checked for an update to Blender. Uh, import Wavefront Object Desktop Bail for there we go. I could have double clicked it. Uh, spike decal. Delete. U. Nope, you in there. Up to the top. Scale. 0 0.01. 0 0.01. And finally 0 0.01. There we go. Oh, I've got on the controls again. Now they're different. Right. Let's see how this.
this looks once we get it textured. So Shift F10, uh, or Control A first, rotation and scale. Yes, tab in. There we go. Right then, minimize Blender back into the test. Edit this with a notepad. Decal, decal. Stall front loader implements diffuse. Okay. Back in a blender. Open. Recent. And there we go. Oh wow, that does everything. One file to do it all, eh? I believe those are, it's the pivoting part, the very front of the front loader arms. Yeah, cool. So, material. Is that right? Texture. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, it works. So, over here, material, not new. Texture, new image or movie, yes, 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 yes. In here, recent again, implements diffuse, jobs are good. Right, now then, how to single bail spike it? Well, A to deselect everything. There is a way of putting a screencast on, but I can't remember how to do it. Did it work? It did work. Oh. Yeah, have I've got an app for screencast? That's middle mouse button. Wheel. Left. Right. Ah, cool. Oh dear. Snap that back to the centre before it goes mental. Right then. So, C. Hey, that's big enough, isn't it? And Z. No, what were we? C up. Right click to get rid of that. Z, C, left click, right click, delete vertices, Z, let's have a look again, uh, texture, because I've got a funny feeling the AO is going to go nuts on that, maybe not though. We may be all right here. Right, select all of this one. Hmm, aims a little off. By Joe, I think we've got it. Oh dear. We appear to have missed a bit. <laughs> ah. Yeah, kind of figured that I'd miss it as well. Okay, so control Z. And again, move all the way back up there because you need to select the rest of it. Shift, go. There we are. That's got it all. Oops. There we go. Uh, got a funny feeling this is going to be a pen now. Yeah, I didn't think it'd do everything I wanted. Z, C, yada yada yada. Come on, give me the rest. Slightly off. Might as well do a good job while we're in here. Right, there we go. One single bell spike. Tab back into there, control and A, rotation and scale, yes, yes, yes. Uh, up here, giant IT exporter, 
down, use blender file name, there isn't one. File location, recent, new, accept, spot selection, and minimize in case we have to come back. So we should have the new. Yes, we do. Awesome. Right, I'm going to go and get rid of that bit we don't need because it's going to bug me. <coughs> Resave that. And back into here, reload. Yes, there we are. Now that's all the bits we need. However, this doesn't quite have everything because our current blend file will have shapes in there as well as you do this goes to an external file as well material ID of 8 so we need the files and the materials copy that over into new edit with notepad files and materials now this one is down as to look so control V there we go. Put that back to two. And here, we have to just write this on the end, like that. That's so uh, the normal file works. And then we need this. So Shift End, Control C to copy. Right down to the bottom. Shift and Control V to paste. And we should now have our bail spike. Ugh. Warning material of ID 8 not found. Oops. <coughs> Could have left it at 8, couldn't I? <laughs> I wonder if we'd have been able to unbolt those spikes in real life faster than what it's just taken me doing it this way. There we go. Single bail spike. Right. So close that down. Back to our original work. Import the little fellow. <coughs> and we'll go from there. Control X to cut him. Select that, the parent, paste him into the parent, move him up, move him up. Oh no. That's just not nice, is it? Get rid of material editing. Is that zeroed? No, it wouldn't be. Right, so I'll control duplicate that just so I know what I'm doing. Zero this. I wonder if zero in that work then. No. <laughs> so if we can match it up here. I'd say that's pretty darn close. Obviously I've got this one in the way, but yeah, I'd say that's pretty close. He needs to move to the left of it, does, doesn't he? Uh, what axis is it? X-axis. Oh dear, no, 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 no. Ta da! Right then. So, now 
not in theory. Oh, that looked familiar to you. <laughs> No way. <laughs> okay. Translation, yeah. They should both read a zero now then. Yep. So we'll copy those. Control Shift C copies all three. Back up here, Control Shift V. He's back up there. We need the spike decals. Control X into there. V. Delete that. Delete that. There we go. Single bail spike done. Collisions. Problem. I'm only going to need one of them. So collision two. Bye bye. This one. Drag it over. Oh dear. I hope that didn't come on the mic. My throat's gurgling. Sounds really dry this morning though. I've got a fresh cup of tea, but it's not having it. There we go. Alright, so that is. A single bail spike made. So we shall save that and then we're going to finish the mod. Right then, new can disappear, test can disappear, and that can disappear. Shrinks it down a bit. The blend file is done so we can kill it. I'm not worried about keeping it. Right then, uh, where do we need to be now? No, no, away with you, shoo. Now back in here, front loaders, stall, bail fork, we need the XML, so we'll copy that. See what this says. Oh, that's easy enough. File name, no, that is here. Everything else looks good though. So we can save that and then we just need to track down the mod desk. Now for a mod desk I'm going to use one that we've done. Nice easy one. OEV weight should have the one I'm after. Yep. So it opens it up in a zip. Mod desk. Drag it out. Leaves the one in the zip. Untouched. But gives you a new one. So there we go. Mod desk. Oh, we're going to do it right, aren't we? Uh, load up that again. Uh, Ian Robson actually taught me this without even meaning to. I'll move that to the other view. Control copy. V, V, done. I'll have that as well. Uh, slice it across there. Come back in here, get rid of that. Only be modding, tidying it all up. Save that one. Stall bail spike. Description. Do we need a description? Oh, yeah. Not sure if we need the German version, though. Paste that in there. We're going to have to work out this. No, oh, no, I've got L10s in this one. This was a bad choice. This was a very bad choice. 
Oh dear. That really was a bad choice. Wow. I did not think that through. Oh, well, scrap that. I've learned so much since I did this weight. Really, that is a very bad example. <coughs> Where is a simple one? The X disc. That'd have been better. We'll take that one. Uh, knock that off. Bring that in. Pop that one. Gonna reload. There we go. Yes, there we are. That's better. A lot better example. And that bit's already filled in for us. Cool. So it's Shift and Alt to select lines like that. That makes life easier. don't need to change anything there that's just daft if we come up here I have where are we there we are store items so control F and we're gonna go looking for the store stuff find next multi stay on multi combination brand stall oh yeah that's the combination oops Uh, bell spike, bell fork. Yes, bell fork. There we go. Copy the entire star item. I have no idea where I got these files from, but I'll pop them up on Google Drive for anybody who's interested. Uh, come back in here, select the entire star item, overwrite it, just like that. Did too much. Control Z. Try again. That's better. And that needs tabbing forwards. And this lot all needs tabbing there. Properly spaced out mod desk and XML is so much easier to read. Right then. This has got the dollar sign in front of it. That needs the dollar sign. That needs the dollar sign. Actually, we're going to need to edit that. The XML file name is with us. Oh dear. Selected a bit too much again. That's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Right, we either need the star picture. Where is it? Data vehicle star Belfort PNG. Okay. Shouldn't be on, didn't I? Yep. Go back into there. Star. Let's find it. Oh, there we go. Copy that. Close that. Paste it there. Open her up. Uh, we'll do the text first. Line right of hand, I believe it's a 36. And red, but a special red. Caps lock on, OEB modding. Yeah, that's the one. Right then, the sneaky bit we're going to have to do here is we're going to need the lasso a lasso so we're going to have all this coming up the 
this is a tricky bit steady hand required right, and we've got our control X shift V and then we'll move it out of the way I well, we could put it in place I suppose there you go then we're going to need to go back down a level lasso again and we're going to need to steal this one this one's a bit easier we're just going to hit delete and the tricky part is going to be getting should have probably used that one shouldn't we <coughs> I do apologise for the coughing I don't know why my throat's been silly uh, easiest way to do this is going to be like this I think control copy shift V yes so we'll just patch it back up is it going to work not very well is it oh, after control V yeah there we go well it's better than what it was well that one's worked at least but that one's definitely not right so I'll have to do a little bit of creative uh, painting where is my colour picker there he is so well, that's a bit of a big brush. Down a one. Nope. Wrong layer. That layer. You away. Paintbrush. Still not working. It's picked up transparent. That's why. There we go. It's still not working again. Nothing is selected. We have the brush. It is. It's there, look. Tiny little thing. There. That's got rid of it. Right. Is it going to work now? No. Why? Give me black. Right. Black works. That doesn't work because it's on the other layer. <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, dear. You merge down. <laughs> uh, it's one of them days. There we go. So I just fill that in a bit like that. That makes it better. I wonder if I shouldn't have raised that up, maybe. But we'll be fine. Where are we? Eraser. Knock that up to a two. Just go along here, smoothing it off a bit. There we go. That's that tidied up. That tidied up too. Let me do a little bit more over here. I don't know if we're going to be carried away with this, but yeah, we're good. Right, make that visible again. Merge that down. Reset the image. That's all right. File, save, save. Txt five mip maps. Awesome. Just double check it. There we go. Right then, so back into here. Uh, don't need you anymore. Do need to shrink that because I need to see. So the star name is now going to be just that. Copy. And I will also change the 
icon file name. There we go. Happy days. Right then, let's go do a little test, shall we? Hmm. Yeah, we should be able to test this. So, what am I doing? Closing you down, closing you down, close that down, bin you, bin you, what are you? Close you down, everything shut down, FS15, smaller mods, load the bail fork into there, and we'll fire the game back up. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to jump into Beyond Home. One, yeah, one reason for this, uh, rather than buy it on the Let's Play, I'm going to substitute it for the one we've got. Basically, as if we had properly worked on it in game, as you would in real life. Otherwise, we might as well just took it to the shop and sold it. So, first, check the store. Our bail spike is there. We can buy our bail spike. We're going to need one of those. We are then going to need. Yes, you. What the hell was I doing here? Oh, this is when I was testing the lock on my trackers. As you can see, that's the default in game one at maximum lock. After I'd modified it, it goes to a right angle near enough. Well, they all do. The Sammy as well, and the Herleman. I was getting fed up with that lock being an issue. Especially when we're reversing it. Because the T-bars, T-60's drawbar is so far out the back look, which didn't make sense. Right then. Where's the bail spike? hiding here somewhere. I'm going to assume it's on the other side of him. No, I didn't look when I just went past. It is. Oh, there's a bale as well. Nice. I always knew that bale would come in handy. I cannot honestly remember what I did the bale with. Right then, let's test this then. That's not a good start. That's not a good start at all. <coughs> and we can't see... <laughs> well played, Giants. Well played. some reason our bell spike will not go into the bell. Well that was a waste of five minutes. <laughs> At all, I wonder why that is then. How have giants rigged this game? Or is it something I've missed in the XML? Let's just check a default and make sure it's not this particular bale that's been a pain in my ass. to do with the collisions we can always bring that other one back yeah now that goes in 
Only just, but it still goes in. Can't actually get out though. There we go. Okay. That's weird. Hmm. Well, to start with, I do need another T6. With front loader. testing that a little bit easier having one of each ready that's because our single bale spy look will not go in there is a reason for this let's go find out hmm now why are you being like this into the XML Dynamic mount, attacher, size, components. Like there's nothing untoward in there, then it's something in the scripts. Every time, something in the scripts. Giants, you are cruel. Uh, to make sure I get the right one back, I'm going to go export it. Steady on. This is the only thing I think it can be. File, export selection, uh, desktop, FS15, mods, bail fork. Bleh. Close that down. Close that down into here. something to do with a collision mask and obviously it doesn't have one <laughs> that's still the same as always file import u control x select the parent paste it in should have kept the other one up shouldn't I Uh, have you visible? You are already visible. Let's see if this fixes our little problem. Is that a bit closer, maybe? touching no that's about right right save that there then back into game again this is the only thing I can presume it'll be beyond this I'm not entirely sure and it really does suck because it's just an abused in-game one so it should work. There shouldn't be too much to change, really. The collision mask should be the same. Anything that can be a pain in the ass should work. Oh, it was you. Come here. Yep, they're there now, then. Right, let's find out. Did that do it? Yes. <laughs> so, as weird as that was, you need to have 
both there. That's crazy. And now it works. We have a single bail spike. Woohoo! Come on! Throw it in the marshal just for good measure. Should just sit on top of it. There you go. Hit the collision. <laughs> right then. So now what we do is we save the game. Quit the game. Quit again. Close that down because you work. We can now go zip it up. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Organize. Select all. Add to archive. I'm back using WinZip as well. I've moved on from 7-Zip. For the simple fact you couldn't edit things while they were zipped up. With Notepad++ using tabs. Uh, Paint.net using tabs. It was alright if you opened up one. But it wouldn't overwrite it in the save until you actually closed it down. Now WinZip, I can keep Notepad open. I can have as pretty much as many zips as I want open, as many tabs as I want open. As soon as I save something in Notepad, WinZip will ask if I want to update. It's a lot better system for me. Right, so zip, delete. There we go, paste that in there. Happy days. So all the OEM beam mods are racking up now. It was a zip, wasn't it? Yes. Right then, here's the fun part. You need to open up your career save game and your vehicles of where you want to go and then of where you've saved the mod. We'll start off with a career save game. If you go to the bottom of the one where it's saved, you get that. So control copy. Not quite sure why it's not put a file hash on yet, but oh well. And then down to the bottom of here. And you put it in there. Like that. Save game. That's your career save game doctored. Then you need to actually put the vehicle in. So where are we looking for you? Belfort, there we go. All you need is that. Control copy because it's like for like. Basically if you've got other components and all the rest of it, it gets more complicated. But like for like, then we just gotta find it here. In game, I could search it, I suppose. Stall to a log fork. Really, I bought the log fork. Oh, it's the bail fork's there. <laughs> oh dear. There we go then, control V, overwritten it, everything else is right. Save the game, close it down, close it down. Close everything down. This is how confident I am in this working. <laughs> See if we can get there before 50 minutes. Come on, come on now. Load up the game we want, we've got a minute left. This is not including the intro by the way. The intro puts like seven seconds onto the video. Give or take, so you're seven seconds ahead of me and my audacity timing. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. Come on. <laughs> There's that many mods and things going on and all. It takes a while to load in now. Oh, we are so close. Come on. I can hear water. This is promising. I think it's. Oh, we're in, we're in, we're in. Control 3. Get out the tractor. Epic! There we go, guys. That is how you make a single bail spike. If you want to copy it, enjoy it. Remember, two collisions. Oh, it does not work. Mm, weird stuff, eh? Right. You never know, we might do some more farming in episode 23. Oh, actually, Crazy Pete's going on holiday, and I have a plan.
to defeat him and his uh, crazy cost generation until the guys work their magic I have a plan of my own we will see you in episode 23 hey, catch you then guys, laters